I feel you. Good old Monday morning. <laughs> All right. Um, for this problem, what we have to do is they want us to add. Um, actually, they want us to subtract. Here we go. It's a nice Monday morning. Um, so they want us to subtract uh, these two rational expressions. And what we notice is we have i in the bottom. So what we've practiced so far and what we've learned is whenever you have i in the bottom, we have to get rid of that i, either by, you know, like I said, rationalizing the denominator of multiplying by i. But here, we actually have a we have an expression 1 plus i, and here we have 1 minus i. So one thing I want to look at is I need to get rid of the i's. And to get rid of the i, we talk about multiplying by its conjugate. And the cool thing about this problem is when I multiply each of these bottom by their conjugate, what I'm also doing is I'm also finding the common denominator. So this problem is very nice to me because remember, <laughs> whenever you want to add or subtract, you have to make sure you have common denominators, right? So you know, a lot of times, you know, a simple technique is to multiply by the other denominator to get them to be a common denominator. So this is very nice because by multiplying by the conjugates, I'm actually also finding the common denominator so I can combine them. So I multiply by the conjugate, which is also the common denominator, um, or which is also the other denominator, which will help me find the common denominator. And here, I notice as, as a complex conjugates are just like a difference of two squares, my middle terms are going to cancel out. So therefore, I can just multiply one times, actually, I can just do one times one, which would be one squared. Negative i times i is going to be a negative i squared. And I'll kind of put it in parentheses real quick. Minus, and then on this bottom, we're going to have the exact same thing, 1 minus i squared. On the top, you're just going to do distributive property. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative i is negative 2i. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times i is positive 3i. All right. And the last thing we need to remember is i squared. I squared gives you a negative 1. So 1 minus a negative 1 is going to give you 2. So I have, so therefore I'm going to have 2 minus 2i. Two one minute. And since now they're the same denominator, I can combine the numerators. And just remember when you combine the numerators, you get rid of your, you can only subtract your uh, reals from your reals and your imaginary from your imaginary. So I have two, um, two minus three, which is gonna give me a negative one, and I have a negative two minus three, which will give me a negative five. So my final answer is going to be a negative one minus five i all over two. And then we're gonna have to put this in standard form. This is not standard form. Remember, standard form is a plus bi, right? Yeah. It's a horrible b. But that's, it. that's standard form. So what we have to do is I'm going to divide that 2 into both of these. So what I can actually get is a negative. Cool, yeah. Right? Where negative 1 half is a and negative 5 halves is b. Make sense? No? Kind of. Oh, she just stared at it for a second. Yeah, I